What's up guys? So got another motor job in the shop. It's a 2009 Ford Fusion. Um, customer opted for another junkyard motor. You know, I, I don't I don't mind doing the junkyard motors. I do give them the options, you know, whether it's a crate rebuild, rebuilding what they have, or just doing a junkyard motor. I get these motors, these used motors for a pretty good price, and they got a lot less miles than the one this has on here now. So that's what uh, that's what she opted to do. But uh, figure we'll get the camera set up. Um, or maybe I could do the old, uh, and it's done, but, uh, haven't decided what I'm going to do yet with it. Maybe we'll do a time lapse. I'll give you guys some of the highlights, kind of some of the pointers, what to look out for when pulling these motors. It's not a, too hard of a job, maybe eight, nine, 10 hour job, switching everything over. I already got the used motor sitting over there, but, uh, hang on tight guys. Stay tuned. So yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know which one's going to be easier. Whether I do All right, guys. So I had to, I had to snap the, uh, the bad motor back in there. You know, if the customer found out it was, if it was easy as uh, snapping a new motor back in, you know, we wouldn't make any money on these jobs. So got the tripod set up here. Get you guys propped up. I usually like to do underneath the car first. Drop the exhaust. Mo anything motor mounts down there. Any other wires or plugs down there. Take care of first. Uh, drop the starter if you can down there. This one I think will be taking off the intake to get to the starter, but. Um, Get the exhaust off, get that back manifold out because I plan on pulling this thing up through the top on this one. So let me get you guys set up. Shut up and sit down.
guys so I got under here pretty much undone I took off the oil uh, housing oil filter housing got the intake off all the bell housing bolts underneath here motor mount disconnected the axle from the motor any other little bits got the exhaust dropped this uh, this flex pipe I'm actually gonna change out I think it's pretty mangled up so I'm gonna have to deal with more rust, but got the exhaust manifold off, getting ready to let it down and uh, get the rest of the bell housing bolts, hook this thing and get it out of here.
All right, guys, so the motor's out. A couple of quick tech tips. Um, in order to get this thing out through the top without dropping the cradle, um, definitely take off the motor mounts. Uh, there's a back torsion mount back here you want to get off. And then to angle this trans right, you want to just loosen the upper mount, upper trans support mount. And that way you can get a good enough angle on this transmission to fit through that flywheel. And then I just got it supported on a jack. I'll have to get the, the leg of the, the pick around the jack when I go to stab it back in. But quick tech tip, you could also leave the axles on there as long as they're not stretched out. This one's still got some play left to it. So I was actually contemplating on pulling it out, but you know, maybe I'll pull it out when I go to drop this thing back in. I might have to pull it out, but for now I'll leave it in. But that's that.
All right, guys, done. There it is. Noise is gone. Check it for leaks. Let it run for a bit. Check the check engine light. Make sure there's no light on. And I wanted to mention, too, on these guys, I pull the harmonic balancer off so I don't have to pull the trans when I'm installing these motors. You just got to make sure that when you put the harmonic balancer back on, you got to set the timing on these because they have, um, they have that diamond friction uh, crank. There's, there's no keyway in the crank. It's diamond friction washers that hold the tensioner. That it, it's diamond friction washers that hold the timing in place. So when you press on the harmonic balancer, it pushes on the timing gear on the crankshaft and that's what sets the top. So with this off, the crank will run spin freely. There's nothing holding the cam and cranks together once you pull the harmonic balancer. So you just gotta remember you retime it. You gotta have those forward, you know, the flat bar, time the cams. This one I left timed just to double check. And then you stick the pin in there and turn it. But that's the way I like to do it. I like to just pull the harmonic balancer off and then check timing on it anyways. That way you know the people at the junkyard didn't pull the pulley off and then put it back on there too. Um, because you don't know the guys. The guys that pull it off at the junkyard, the easiest way is to pull the harmonic balancer off. They might have did that and then put it back on. You're not going to know that. So always check the timing on it, whether you pull the harmonic balancer off or not. So I'm going to let this thing run for a bit, go underneath, put the splash shield back on and everything like that, clean everything up and uh, deliver this one. Hopefully the cups are pretty happy on this one. Um, it took me an extra day to do. I was waiting on some parts. I had to do some gaskets and all that. There was a couple differences between the two motors. Um, one with the outlet gasket and the, uh, the, um, the thermostat gasket. So I had to mix and match some of the gaskets. I didn't have the correct one sitting here. So, but that's it guys. Remember about the timing. Quick one for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.